Hello everyone. Welcome to the Alchemical Mindset. I am Renz, and today I'm going to answer a very simple, but to some, a very deceptive question, a very dividing question. But before I do that, I want to thank everyone who subscribes to the channel. Please hit that subscribe button. It takes a second. Hit the bell icon. It takes two seconds. Thank you to all the patrons who support this channel financially, those who shop at Uncle Ren's Popcorn, that also supports the channel. I greatly appreciate everything that you do. Those who are in my coaching clients with Coach Renz, thank you very much. I greatly appreciate it. There is a burning question that came across my Facebook about a week ago. The question was, why was God so vague? If God had not been vague, and gave strict adherence to what is and what is not, then we would have no problems. There would be no issues. And one person in the commentary made a very good point. This God who sits on high, who is all knowing, all loving, omnipresent, omnipotent, who says to us that there are many lower level gods and that he is the true God. And we are supposed to, in our finite mind, be able to distinguish between what is the true God and what are the false gods. How can we do that? When each religion says the exact same thing. That if you are Hindu, then the Brahmin is the true God and all other gods are false gods. That the Yahweh, Jehovah, and the Jewish is the true God, and all other gods are false gods. That Jesus in the Trinity with the Father is the true God, and all other gods, even that of Yahweh of the Jews, is the false God. That Allah is the true God, and that all other gods are false gods. How are we supposed to know in our finite mind, which God is the true God and which are the false gods. Let's be real. You were born into a family. You were born into a culture. You were born into a nation. You were born into a religion. You have been taught a certain religion since birth. And as you grow older, what you have done is translate your experiences to justify your version of God. Now the same story, the same conversion, the same uh, experiences, the same uh, savings, the same you know blessings that you claim, so too does the Hindu, so too does the Christian, so too does the Jew, so too does the, uh, the Islamic, so too does the Zoroastrian, so too does everyone, so too, although they don't give it to God, the same experiences also occurs to the atheists, that they miraculously escaped an accident that a check came in the mail, that they were sick and without medical proof were healed. These same experiences happen all over the world to everyone. The same seasons of learning some, something because they went through a hardship happens to everyone all around the world. It consistently happens. It continuously happens. It will always happen. But some say God being vague has caused so much trouble in the world that we fight and we war over it. But I say, the Creator had to be vague. Because if the Creator came down and laid down the law, the rules of engagement, of how to redeem yourself, how you're supposed to act, how you're supposed to be, how you're supposed to walk, how you're supposed to pray, when you're supposed to pray, what you're supposed to eat, what you're not supposed to eat, all these things had came down in the very beginning of man if God, the creator, had come down and did that. Then we would all be the same, is what you believe. But then we would all lose the, the ability of free will to self-determination, to determine how do we find our own personal spirituality. How do we find our own personal relationship within the universe? You see, we're all existing 
in a shared universe, in a shared dream, in a shared psychosis, in a shared matrix. And we're all existing in this together, functioning together, cooperating together, working with one another together, coming to understandings with one another together. There are basic rules, basic laws, basic understandings that we all should have. But we diverge into our own different ways of thinking. You see, I can't come to spirituality the same way you can. But what I must remember is that there is a golden rule. Do unto others as you will have them do unto you. So in understanding that, it is forbidden for me to force you to do things how I do them. You must do things how you do them. But because someone thinks that we all should follow one path, that there's only one true path, that by identifying your one true path, you should know all the false gods, is an impossibility. For the rest of your life, you will claim that someone else's God is a false God, and that person will claim that yours is a false God. And at the end of the day, neither one of you will know who is right. You will not know because according to you, you're going to your heaven. According to you, they're going to their hell. According to them, they're going to their heaven. According to them, they're, you're going to the, your, their hell. So we will never actually have proof on this level of existence as to who was right. So God, the creator, had to be vague. He had to be vague because it is up to you to figure out your spirituality. Figure out what moves you into a unity, a union with yourself, what moves you into uh, amplifying your divinity, what moves you to connecting to the universal flow of energy, the universal flow of knowledge, the universal flow of love. It is up to you to figure out how you connect because here's the thing, we are all different. We all come from different families. We all come from different experiences. We all have a different mindset, mindset based on our culture, based on our family, based on our politics, based on our nation, based on so many things that it is impossible for all of us to have one form, one religion, one spirituality that we all follow and it be right for everyone. How can we say what foods should be eaten when the same foods are not available all around the world. Uh, uh, when you look at the Leviticus diet, it talks about certain insects. It talks about certain meats. It talks about certain fowl. These meats, fowls, insects don't exist in Alaska, don't ex exist in Siberia. They don't exist in Australia. So how can those same people consume the same thing? The earth is diverse. Therefore, your method, your ability to get to spirituality must be diverse. It must be centered on you and your journey and how you get there and how you perceive it. Now, in every one of these religions and every one of these pathways of spirituality, there are core things. As I said before, do unto others as you would have them do unto you. Grab hold and reap the benefits of the abundance that is all around you. That for every cause there is an effect and for every effect there is a cause. That whatever you can mentally perceive and physically put work behind, you can achieve it and it can happen. As long as you hold to the rules of not damaging or destroying nature, blaspheming against the natural forces of the universe. That you recognize that it takes both masculine and feminine energy in order to create anything and that everything has a flow and a rhythm to it that everything vibrates and everything's moving that change is a constant of the universe and as long as you're not forcing or interrupting someone else from being able to achieve their highest level of spirituality then who are they to tell you that you're wrong who are you to tell them that they are wrong but you should all live in the harmony and peace of knowing that we're all on the same journey, looking to get to the same divine space of being, of understanding. And when we get there, whatever it is, we will all be fine, we'll all be good, we'll all be happy, we'll all be vibrating at a higher level of consciousness, and we'll all be closer to understanding the true nature of the creator and the creation. So God was vague, God is vague. The creator is vague and tells you to just look out and open your third eye and see 
what is before you and all will be revealed on purpose so that you can find your pathway, so that you can find your journey, so you can find your vibration. And then just vibe with your tribe. But don't force anyone to join and don't push anybody out. So y'all have a great day. Remember, you have to free yourself to be yourself because your greatness is non-negotiable. Good journey, good vibration.